my beautiful honeys welcome back to my channel I'm sorry I've been missing for a while as you guys probably know I'm pregnant and I wanted to quickly say thank you guys so much for showing me love in my previous two videos you guys have been so kind so I have been very sick recently I filmed a video for you guys about a week ago but I just hated the way it turned out because I sounded so nasally and I just looked awful so I wanted to just scrap that and make a new video for you guys so I hope you guys enjoy this hair tutorial that I created for you guys I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in ages and it feels so weird being back here and sitting in front of cameras and lights so I'm definitely excited to be back and film more videos for you guys so make sure you guys stay tuned and subscribe if you guys haven't because I'm gonna be making a lot more beauty and hair and obviously some pregnancy videos as well because I'm slowly approaching my due date and it's crazy exciting for me so I definitely want to share my pregnancy experience with you guys so make sure you guys stay tuned for that and without any further ado let's jump right into this tutorial so this is my hair without any products this is me with my air dried hair as you can see it's a bit frizzy and a little bit dry on the ends so what I'm gonna do is put in a little bit of serum so I like to go in with my strengthening oil and this is by grow gorgeous I have been using this stuff for a few months now and I can really see the results. I just take a few drops into my hands. It's not a very oily texture so it doesn't weigh my hair down. I like to pat it into my hands and just run it through the ends of my hair. I like to really apply it from the midsection of my hair to the bottom. This oil has been really good for my split ends and my dry hair, so I have been loving this stuff. It smells amazing as well. So that's the first thing I like to use. And the second thing I like to use before I go in with my hair curler is the heat protectant spray. And for that, I like to use the It's a 10 Leave-In Keratin Serum. I like to take a few spritz of this onto my palm so I can really target the midsection of my hair once again. I like to rub it in and just run this through my hair once again. I have been using this stuff for about five years and I can't use anything else. This is my holy grail product, so I definitely recommend it. I like to bring it up to the top bit of my hair as well because we don't want that to fry. <laughs> Once I have applied my leave-in conditioner, I like to quickly comb my hair through with a tangled teaser and just make sure there's no knots in my hair before I use the curler. And this also helps to distribute the serum all throughout my hair. A tip I learned during my grade seven cosmetology class was when you comb your hair, you should always hold it up top here and then comb the knots out so it doesn't tug on your scalp as much so that's what I like to do I like to hold it up top and then just take out all the knots and it really helps from tugging your hair so you don't have too much hair fall all right so now that our products are in I like to section off my hair I like to take this top bit and put a clip in it so we can start curling from the bottom I like to wrap my hair around and just put a clip in it. I find it easiest to just take one of these clips and just clip it onto my hair so I can keep that out of the way. So now we can curl the bottom section of our hair. The curling iron I have been using lately is this T3 wand and it comes with this tapered end as you can see. It goes from thick to thin and I love using this for creating those beachy beautiful waves. I'm going to take about a one inch section of my hair and put my wand at the top not completely at the top as you can see and I'm gonna curl this through and as you can see it creates this beautiful curl right here and what I like to do is tug on the ends because I don't want it to be a super springy curl we're definitely gonna brush it out towards the end but I'm gonna let it stay like this for a while until it cools down and then we're gonna brush it out so I'm going to take the next section and do the same thing. I'm going to start at the top and curl and leave about an inch hanging so we don't want to curl all the way towards the end. I'm going to hold for about 10 seconds and then let go. 
and then once again just tug on the ends and let that cool down. I'm going to do that for the rest of my hair and I'm going to show you guys what I do at the top. Now that the bottom section of my hair is all curled, I'm going to just let it cool down and I'm going to do the top section of my hair. What I like to do for my top section is take the top part if you have bangs. I currently don't have any bangs, they're just all grown out. I like to take this top bit right here and tie it up and I like to do that towards the end. So I'm going to just make a little tiny bun at the top and clip it out of the way. Now we're going to do the same thing on the top section of our head. So what I'm doing is curling away from my face. So I've done the top section on my head now, so I'm going to unclip my bangs and do this part now. I normally like to do a side part, so that's what I'm going to do. You can switch it up and do a middle part if you like. So this is the top end that I have to curl still. Everything else is already curled. I like to take the top section and section it into half. And I like to curl the back section first. And now for the front section, I like to take it to the top and put the wand right behind here and curl backwards. Just like that. If you can see that. I like to hold this for about 10 seconds. What this does is gives it a little bit of volume towards my bangs. And I'm going to let that go. Ooh, that's hot. Now's the time I like to look for some stray hairs and go over it one more time. But I think I did a pretty good job. Oh, I found one. I'm going to give this a quick curl. And there you go. That's my look. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to let this cool down for a few seconds and then I'm going to brush it through with my fingers. So I make sure I turn the curling wand off. This does have an automatic timer. I think it turns off after half an hour or so, but I like to turn this off so I don't burn anything. I like to take the front section, just bounce it upwards to make sure the curls stay. And then starting from the bottom, I'm gonna take my fingers and just brush them out lightly. I'm not gonna be too harsh with it because I don't want my curls to fall out because I spent a lot of time on them. You can also use a wide tooth comb to do this, but I currently don't have any, so I'm gonna just use my fingers. I make sure to separate all of the curls because I don't want any of them sticking together. That's 
I like to just take my hair and mess it all up because the messier the better, right? I also like to tug on the ends and yeah, this is what I like to do. To finish off the hair look, I like to use this Whey hair oil and this stuff smells so good. <laughs> it smells like flowers, so I like to take one or two pumps of this, rub this into my hand and run this through my hair and what this does is gets rid of all that frizz if you have any I definitely do <laughs> and just mess it up one more time I love the shine that it gives my hair as well it makes it look super healthy I like to put some in my bangs Sometimes what I like to do is just comb through it with a tangle teaser just to separate out the curls a bit. It gives it a more natural look. And there you go, that's how I like to curl my hair lately. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I absolutely love the way my hair looks when I curl it and it only takes about 20 minutes or less. This hairstyle lasts me about four days, so I can't complain. It's super easy to do and it's perfect for people that don't like to do their hair every day. And that's definitely me, I hate doing my hair every day. So this is super convenient. This hairstyle is gonna look even better tomorrow because the curls are gonna fall out throughout the night. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Until next time. Mwah.